towards a sustainable use of biocides in Saudi Arabia, opportunities, perspectives, and risks. By Talal Moes, Budur al Watid, Dr. Taib Ibrahimi, and Dr. Abtiaz Ahmed. <coughs> the main objectives of this study is to investigate the opportunities, perspectives, and risks of employing biocide in Saudi Arabia using qualitative and quantitative parameters of the market in solving the problem of the impact of biocide on health and environment prior considerations must be given to the safety of agricultural products as in excess of 90% of the total amount of biocide that enter the human body from the environment originate from food. The ecological safety of the agricultural products can be achieved by compliance with the principle of greening of agricultures, developing hydroponic cultivations of, a, of, of a crop products and cleansing the, the soil of biocides. The 12 green engineering principles from the basis uh, for building safe, effective and environmentally friendly products. Green engineering is defined as the design, commercializations and use of processes and products that minimize pollution, promote sustainability and protect human health and environmental well-being without sacrificing economic viability and efficiency. Using the fundamental principles of chemistry, green chemistry is the implementation of a set of 12 principles that reduces or eliminates the use of, of uh, generations of inherent hazard substances in the design, manufactures, and applications of chemical products. These green principles are essential in optimizing and the design of engineering project uh, projects to ensure that they are expect, expect accepted as a safe and reliable product. Uh, so biocide. Biocide is a chemical compound that destroys harmful living organisms but may have toxic, carcinogenic, or disruptive pro properties in the endocrinic system. Biocide constitute substances used for water treatment, cooling water systems, wood preservations, paints and coating, food and beverages, cosmetic, agriculture, where the, these substances are used in large areas and in aid uh, in the preservations of crops. There are three main types of biocide, oxidizing biocide and non-oxidizing biocide and biodisparent. And in the table, we can see examples of each type. Applications of biocide. There are many applications of biocide. One of the most important applications is uh, using it in the cooling water systems. Uh, the cooling water system is one of the most important methods uh, used to heat uh, to remove heat from industrial equipment. The cooling water help to transfer thermal energy from one medium to another. In industrial applications, for example, cooling water can be uh, critical to ensure that processes do not cause equipment or product to overheat. Therefore, a cooling water system is considered one of the most important systems in the oil and gas industry, petrochemical industry, and in other applications such as cooling huge buildings and airport. One of the important chemicals which is injected in the, in the uh, cooling water system is biocide. And the presence of bacteria and microorganisms in the cooling water um, might lead to generations of biofilm, which result uh, in bitting corrosion and destroys the piping in cooling water systems. Uh, the figure illustrate how the bacteria form a biofilm. In the first stage, the bacteria are introduced into the water system through uh, the new raw water source, air, makeup, water, or process contaminations. Then the bacteria become fixed to a surface where they can grow and multiply, creating a biofilm. And finally, in the last stage, the biofilm continue to grow until some of its uh, debris or colonize. Uh, new surfaces. The process then, repeat, the, uh, uh, then repeated. However, the addition of biocide would prevent such a process from occurring. So the impact of biocide, uh, it has uh, the biocide has a, a very negative impact on a human. 
So a human come, uh, humans come into a contact with biocide during, for example, uh, field work and in household plots. Harm can occur to them in the case of direct contact with a uh, drug through the skin, uh, also through the mouth or the noise or, or respiratory tract. Biocide can also enter the human body in the food. So a green biocide. A green biocide classifications uh, uh, should be perspective, uh, pest control, disinfectant, uh, also other biological uh, biological products. For any biocide to be declared as a green biocide, it has at first to be adhered to the 12 principle of green chemistry, which is prevent waste, maximize atom economy, less hazardous chemical, safer chemical and product, safer solvent, minimize potential for accident, in a, uh, analyze in real time to prevent pollution, design and uh, chemical and, and produce to degrade after use, use catalyst, use renewable feedstock, increase energy efficiency, and avoid chemical derivatives. Green biocide car uh, characteristics should be less, less toxic, environmentally friendly, easy to handle, safe, and easy to store. So green biocide. A green biocide should be prepared from the least toxic renewable raw materials in the, in the manner that avoid waste formation so that it would be cost effective to produce. The production process of a green biocide should be safe and hazard free. The process needed needs to be accelerated by a particular catalyst that are re regenerated at the end of the reaction for the for, for reuse. Example for green, green biocide are EDDS for the treatment uh, of uh, sulfate reducing bacteria SRB biofilm on a carbon steel surface and also we have the THB, H, THBS and EDDS and, uh, and EDDS. The proposed green biocide indicate a great potential for future applications in, a, in, uh, in cultural and built heritage rehabilitation and, in, and being green substitute to the biocide currently used. Limitation of using green biocide. The desire for safe biocide derived from natural products that are uh, green to the environment is both a primary and policy concern in the US, Canada and Europe. The strict US uh, EBA regulations may result in the removal of a large number of biological products that are incompatible with the environment. Green biocide may be somewhat uh, less effective than conventional biocide and regrowth may occur. There is concern that bacterial, fungal, and uh, illegal sp uh, species may develop resistance against commonly used green biocide. So in conclusions, biocide are highly significant in many technical, economic, uh, economic and agricultural and industrial applications in which they are those to, uh, to avoid any uh, complications associated with the microbial, fungal, and uh, illegal growth. However, biocide are toxic chemical that can be can harm human being and the environment therefore there is a great need to develop novel types of biocide that are green and environmentally friendly